What's going on everyone? How are you doing today? My name is The Leaping Lemur and welcome back to another video. Y'all, Daniel has been going pretty crazy lately, but what's new? He still thinks he's getting engaged to fake Grace, but now they've also convinced him that he's the new Jesus. Not only that, but he's also been saying he's gonna flee Colorado. So a lot has been going on in the Daniel Larson universe, folks. But first, let's get into these videos. After showing up late to his court hearing, it seems like Daniel's done with his probation altogether. Homie's been bouncing all around Colorado, going to a new place every day. Ever since Daniel's TikTok was banned, he hasn't been posting much short form content. So all we got in was these long boring lives where he's ranting about whatever comes to his mind. It's even harder to follow than his normal posts, folks. But there was a common theme shared in those lives. Just watch y'all. I'll just pay the bail, go to court, take it to, take it to trial, and then I'm fleeing the country. I agree with Grace on that one. I'll flee the country. I'm not gonna flee the country now. I'll wait till after my court cases are done, but as soon as my court cases are done, I'm fucking leaving. I think I'll move to Ukraine. So I've now, I'm on the run, pretty much. I'm completely on the run. Bob told me to do it. Bob told me to, that the court needs to realize that I don't have a job, I'm self-employed, and I'm innocent. So Bob manipulated my way and manipulated my court cases to where I now have to basically be on the run, which is kind of fucked up, but I'm not going to go to jail and sit there for something that I'm innocent for. So it seems as though Daniel wants to flee Colorado, but it's hard to say if he truly will. He's definitely thinking about it though, which is enough for Daniel's manic mind to act on impulse and truly follow through with the delusion. I mean, we've seen Daniel have a past travel arc, so now we can have a part two, where Daniel is on the run from the law, jumping from city to city, following the nearest flock of geese. But honestly, with the way he's been talking about Grace, I don't think this will be as fun of an arc as most would think. It's likely Daniel will be hyper-focused on this idea of engagement, heading straight to LA where he'd fit in with all the other homeless people there. We see Daniel continue to speak about his engagement to Grace writing, Grace has access to my bank account somehow. Well folks, it looks like we finally found out where all of Daniel's money from Bob has been going. Homie is getting scammed harder than he got pounded by sweet tea. Anyway, Daniel doesn't mention Grace till a little bit later in the day when he writes, I need to stop talking shit about my family now or charges will be pressed and that includes the Vanderwalls. You might be asking yourself, why is Daniel mentioning his family. Well folks, Daniel has also been convinced that his mother and father are communicating with him through YouTube comments. Daniel makes some posts referencing this writing crap, I accidentally blocked my mother's account on accident. Daniel seems like he's constantly making these stupid grammar mistakes more and more. It's like as opposed to what, blocking her accidentally on purpose? Then Daniel continues writing, how do you unblock people's account on YouTube studio? He then follows that up with, emergency, I actually blocked my dad. Y'all, they got so many characters in the Larson universe, it's crazy that now we're also seeing the addition of Daniel's fake parents, both of which want nothing to do with Daniel in real life. Then we get to the good stuff, folks. Let's talk about Daniel's new claim of being Jesus. This all started yesterday when Daniel wrote, get ready because I'm being told tomorrow is going to be a lot crazier than it was today, from biblical sources and biblical calendar. After this, Daniel doesn't make any more references to religion. Most thought it was a fluke or just another one of Daniel's random schizo posts, but we actually see Daniel speak more about this the next day. But before that, he continues to speak about Grace. Today, Daniel has made multiple references to Grace, and it seems like he went a lot more harder on the Grace delusions than he did yesterday. Let me read a few for y'all. In one, Daniel writes, Grace Vanderwall is already in Colorado and looking for houses. 
He continues on writing, Grace Vanderwall has an emergency calling to me yesterday. Like I said, folks, Daniel can't write for shit. It makes these incredibly hard to read. Then Daniel goes right back to talking about his engagement to Grace, writing, Grace and I are back engaged. Yes, Daniel, we know. Daniel has broken up and got back with Grace three times this week. It's scary how persistent this guy is. Then Daniel writes, true love is a dangerous game. And then Daniel goes from talking about Grace to making this long post about Bob, which I really wanted to take a look at. I told y'all this was gonna be a long video, so let's get into the next post. Daniel writes, because Bob didn't ever give me a one-time payment so I could get housing and instead played games with my mental health, I demand $10,000 direct deposit by tomorrow so I can fix my savings and get my quarterly 5% interest, or I will leave the state of Colorado. Last warning, look who will be suffering now. This goes back to Daniel wanting to leave Colorado and obviously he's pretty set in the idea. But currently Daniel's in Colorado Springs so I guess we'll have to wait and see if he keeps going or heads back towards Denver. Now let's jump back into Daniel's Jesus arc as Daniel continues pulling a Chris Chan writing, The Vanderwalls are saying I'm the new Jesus or disciple. In the New Testament they say that a new religion or Jesus could be walking on earth, waiting for the right time to make it known. Daniel continues with his bullshit writing, I have been guided by angels. Last Lastly writing, angels came to me last night at midnight to tell me Grace Vanderwall was the one. So folks, the Jesus arc is in full force. Just a matter of time before the trolls tell Daniel he's immortal and get him killed somewhere out in the middle of Colorado. Anyway folks, that's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this longer upload. I tried to keep it as coherent as possible, but Daniel's brain has been completely scattered these past few days. If y'all enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe even consider becoming a member. It's just $2.99. Anyway, I'm out of here y'all. Peace.